So I saw a comment on their Facebook page from someone whose World War II tanks were getting punked by post-World War II tanks. And I thought, how would the tech tree look if War Thunder went by the year the tank was designed or produced and how different it would be from this tech tree? So that's what I did. So let's go check it out and see the difference. So here's the tech tree. So I did 1930 to 1940. Obviously a very small tier because America did not have many uh, pre-World War II tanks. 41 to 44. I know World War II ended in 45. Hard to say why. Production skyrocketed. You can see obviously which tanks are combined together. The M4s, the M476s, the M4A3E2s. The M6A1, T1E1, basically the same thing. So pretty much that's the World War II portion of the United States. A few tanks probably swapped places from what we have now. So 45 is separated from the main World War II event because these tanks obviously did not see combat and World War II was coming to an end. I know the M26 was in World War II, but it was also designed in 1944. It just came a little late to the party. But since it was designed in 44, it gets slotted in 1944 Tier 2. So, Tier 3, I just described why. Pretty small compared to the mass production of uh, World War II. 51 to 69. Now I know some of you might be thinking, well, why don't you do 60 to 69? Well, they only have three tanks in the 60s, and the M60 was designed in 1959. It saw service throughout the 1960s. But so by the time you hit the end of this tier, you're already in the 60s. So that's why I did that. 70 to 79, pretty straightforward. I know the Abrams saw service in 1980. If you want to be nitpicky, it can go there but it was designed in 79. Speaking of the 80s to present day, this is what you have. It's pretty straightforward, so I won't go into much detail. Would you be for or against the setup? Which nation would you like to see next, or would you like to see the aviation side? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe.